Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make Google Chrome even faster. So let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is in the top right corner, we're going to press these three lines over here, and um, we're going to select Settings. Go ahead and click Settings. And then on the Settings screen, what we want to do is um, on Startup, you want to make sure that it's opening the new tab page that will cut off any time that it might take to load other pages. Uh, all we need to do is to have it load the new tab page. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on Show Advanced Settings. Go ahead and click that. Uh, then we're going to scroll down. And under Privacy, we want to um, make sure that the first four arrows are checked. So, uh, the first four boxes are checked. So these four boxes over here are checked. And the last three are unchecked. That'll make sure that uh, Google Chrome doesn't waste any energy or time trying to do unnecessary things, but it also does what's necessary to keep it running stably. Um, and then what we're going to do is under Network, we're going to press on Change Proxy Settings. Once you press that, you should see another window called Internet Properties open up. And uh, then under Local Area Network or LAN Settings, go ahead and click the button. And uh, under Automatic Configuration, you want to make sure that automatically detect settings is unchecked. After you've made sure that that's unchecked, go ahead and press OK. Then you want to press Apply and then OK. And those are all the settings we're going to change. The next thing we're going to do is head on in over into the History tab. Uh, and then we're going to Clear Browsing Data. The reason we want to clear the browsing data is because um, browsing data takes up extra space that Google Chrome needs to load and uh, load and index while it's running. So while this extra stuff is here, Google Chrome is busy worrying about it and it might take away from uh, loading what you need to be loaded. So you're going to delete all this so that it doesn't uh, waste its time dealing with all of this extra stuff. So uh, you want to make sure that it's uh, obliterating the following items from the beginning of time because we want to completely get rid of everything. And then you want to select everything over here. That'll get rid of all the unneeded junk that, um, that it has accumulated. Uh, after you've selected everything, go ahead and click Clear Browsing Data and uh, wait for a minute while it clears everything. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is head on over into Extensions, again in the uh, top left. So we're going to go ahead and click Extensions. Extensions are add-ons to Google Chrome that perform certain functions, but when there are too many of them, they can slow it down uh, because Google Chrome is constantly communicating with them which is taking away from its energy uh, in order to load what you need to be loaded. Now extensions can sometimes be useful, so you might want to keep some of them that you need. But everything you don't need, go ahead and press the little trash can next to it to remove it, uh, so you don't have too much stuff bogging down your system. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do is again on the side, on the top right over here, click the three lines, and then you're going to go to Downloads. Again, we're just going to clear more unnecessary um, data. So here you might have a large list of all the downloads you've made in the past. Go ahead and click Clear All. That'll get rid of all this data so Google uh, Chrome doesn't spend more time trying to index it uh, while it should be doing other things. All right, that's actually all we're going to do. Um, we've gotten rid of unnecessary files and changed some settings around a bit to make Google Chrome even faster. Uh, one thing I want to point out is I have another video about how to improve your internet speed just by changing some settings on Windows and also some other videos on how to optimize other browsers such as Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox. Um, I'll put annotations on the screen right now to take you to those videos. Uh, I hope this video helped you and thanks for watching.